guys, Bill from Competition Cars. We're going to do a driving video on this 38,000 mile 77 Cutlass Supreme Brome. White car, red top, red interior. I'm going to have Christian go around the outside. New wheels, fairly new BFG radial TAs. Car's been reconditioned, freshened up, serviced, ready to go. So, Christian, we'll just do a little quick walk around on the outside, then we'll take a driving video. guys so we got a 77 cutlass supreme brome has 38,951 miles on it and some of you guys have been following my auctions you kind of know my my business model i buy these cars i try to buy the nicest cleanest lowest mile cars that i can find to begin with and if they need a little reconditioning then i do that sometimes when they get here they need a little more than what i expected which was the case in this car not so much the the powertrain or the interior just the body i had to do a little extra paint work that i wasn't expecting to have to do we got it looking good you know if you look at the uh if you look at the um oops this car hadn't been started in over two weeks so just there we go so if you look at the um the walk around video i point out the flaws and the areas that i that i painted on this car and uh i'm very transparent because i want you guys to know what you're getting but the interior of the car this interior is beautiful inside um, it runs good, it drives good, the engine bay is clean, the undercarriage is clean, everything works, power uh, power windows, we're gonna check the cruise here in a minute. AM, FM stereo, I'm not gonna turn it on because we're now monetized, I told you this in some other videos, we're monetized, so what that means is, as people view these auctions, we get a, we get paid at some point. But if you have music in the background, they call that copyright infringement, they won't allow you to monetize it. I'm gonna turn the air up a little bit, hot 100 degree humidity day here. Um, horn works, lights work, wipers work, air is cold, stereo works, and like I said, we will check the cruise here in a minute. It's got the split seats with the center armrest. So it's a really, really nicely preserved car that, again, I had to freshen some things up on the body. There's a spot of rust on the left side behind a piece of molding that you cannot see. Um, my, my paint guy does kind of light work. We don't really get into heavy body work. It was above his kind of pay grade, his bill, and you can't see it. I don't want to fool with it and open up a can of worms. So I do want to disclose that. Um, again, I like you guys to know exactly what you're buying. This is, I would call this car driver plus condition. Um, and like I said, the interior is really near mint. The steering wheels got a couple spots where this faux wood is kind of failing a little bit. But I just found a guy that redoes these wheels for I think 225, so he'll he will restore this wheel back to new. I and mean, I don't think this one needs it, but sometimes you're missing all the wood grain or they're cracked. There is no cracks in this wheel at all. So there is a good there is a guy that that uh, that I found that does that. You see the water? That's just we just kind of rinsed it down, and we got some rain coming, so I'm trying to wrap this video up before the uh, rain sets in. But love the color combination. Love the way it dries. Love how cold the air is. You know, 354 barrel, just, just one of Oldsmobile's best motors ever. This is one of the best selling cars in the 70s. And you know, there was so many of these cars produced. I mean, I grew up, well, half my uh, childhood, I was in New Jersey, the other half I was here in South Carolina, but back in Jersey, like everybody had a Cutlass. If, you know, if your mom and dad didn't drive one, your aunt or uncle had one, or your neighbor had one, just a very popular car. You know, it's a shame how Oldsmobile went out of business back in was the 90s or 2000s, I think it was. Yeah, 2000s. Um, I don't think the clock works. Let's, let's see if we can get it going. I'm pretty sure the clock does not work. We'll watch it and see. All right, so I'm going to call the clock not working. I'm going to turn around here, and then I'll step on it so you can see it accelerates good. It doesn't hesitate or sputter or skip and the transmission shifts like it should and again i don't i don't abuse the cars but i do like to step on them so you can see what they got and uh, know that you have confidence like i said we, we we make sure that they're fully tuned up if they need plugs wires filters fluids whatever we do that some cars need those items some cars don't 
Um, on this car, from what I recall, we did the uh, we did the AC conversion to R134A, and also did an oil change. And then while they did the oil change, they checked all the other fluids to make sure that the coolant was topped off and clean and good and all that. So, you know, my guys, the rule, the what I what I say to my mechanic shop is, listen, here's the deal: I'm selling these cars out of town. Most of these guys don't show up in person. I don't want any surprises. If you see it, that it needs something, just do it. So there's, put it to the floor, it's accelerating good. You can hear the four barrel kicking in. Shifts nice and smooth at 60 miles an hour. And there's no shakes or shimmies. Got a little water from the where we just washed. There's wipers working. Get the horn. So you guys get an idea. I mean, it's a cool car. It's got lots of eye appeal. You'll win any local car show if you show up with this thing. Like I said, the color combination looks great. Um, I did also disclose in the walk around video, we re-dyed the top. I've got the exact color top dye that I'll go, you know, leave with the car. So you'll have, I'm sure you'll, you won't have to dye it again. We put, I think it was what, three good coats we did on it, three nice coats on it. So it looks really good, but you'll have the dye just to have it, just in case you ever need to touch anything up moving forward. So if you have any questions, put them in the comment section. I'll answer them as quickly as possible and good luck bidding guys. Appreciate it.